Okay, so here we are in the beautiful city of Chiang Mai once more. Uh, we've come to an area called uh, Wiang Kung Kam. Wiang Kung Kam is about 10 kilometers outside of the old city of Chiang Mai. Um, and it's particularly famous for one very, very good reason. I'm here at Heritage Coffee. Let's find out why. Welcome to Coffee Trails Thailand. Right, the good folks of uh, Heritage Coffee have agreed to allow me to um, film inside their coffee shop, but Heritage uh, is also a little hotel, boutique hotel as well, and but they don't want me filming in their gardens, etc., which is a real shame because from here they look fairly glorious. I'll do a little sneak for you. Um, I hope they won't get too grumpy about it. Just here. As you can see, it's pretty dazzling, all of it. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Heritage Villa. But they don't want me to go in there. So that's okay, no problem. Well, we're here to do coffee. It's coffee trails, not hotel trails. <laughs> Anyway, let's go and see if they can make a nice cup of coffee. We'll sit down and I'll tell you a little bit more about uh, Wiam Kun. Wiam. Oh, I'm terrible at this. Wiam Kam Kun. Let's go and find out. It'll be always dark in here, but that's okay, I think. I would like a caramel macchiato cup. Caramel macchiato, is that okay? Is it okay if I just have a look at you doing that, watching you from, yeah. from here? Thank you. Well, that's very kind of him. There's a nice young chap here as well. I saw him earlier doing some gardening. Yeah. So, buddy, cup. Wiang Kum Kam. Wiang Kum Kam was actually the old city of Chiang Mai before there was the old city of Chiang Mai. I know that sounds a bit odd, but um, the story goes that um, when the old city of Chiang Mai was here, pre-700 years ago, and when it was actually formed here, I'm not, I'm not quite sure, I might have to do some research, or maybe you can do some research, let me know. Um, so when it was here before, it, um, it constantly got flooded from the Ping River, um, which is literally, literally only about half a kilometer down, down to my left down there. Um, the flooding seems to have stopped, so perhaps they shouldn't have bothered. But um, they moved the old city from here, from Wiang Kung Khan, to where the current location of the old city is now. Um, and they did that, uh, um, well, at least 700 years ago, because the old city of Chiang Mai, as we know it now, that has been established for like 700 years, in excess of 700 years. Um, there are lots of ruined temples around here, which predate those temples that are actually inside the old city now, as we know it. So it's worth kind of coming up this area and hanging out and exploring. One of the two, of, one or two of the temples are actually still um, receiving worshippers, as it were, uh, if, if that's what you call them in Buddhism. I'm not sure. You can come up here. Um, have a look around, go to some of the ruined temples, and some of the temples that literally, I mean, there's nothing but foundation there. It's quite a busy road, this. 
Anyway, let's get back to my coffee, um, which is still warm and lovely, uh, and say a big thank you for continually watching. I've noticed that the channel is growing and growing and growing, um, which is great and fabulous. Uh, I mean, some people at least are not finding the content too boring. <laughs> and um, yeah, cheers. Thank you. Let's get back to this. Arabica coffee and this particular coffee is local uh, comes from um, the, the, the Chiang Mai Chiang Rai region uh, where as I've mentioned before there's an awful lot of coffee grown up here uh, and very very nice too Cheers. Ooh, little sugar shot at the end there with that caramel <laughs> very very nice too thanks for watching Hoxip Har Bar. Hoxip Har Bar is 60, 65 Bar. Thank you for your help. Uh, is 65 Bar. Now 65 Bar is around about, let me see, it's about 45, so it's about £1.40. Uh, £1.40 for a cup of coffee, very nice cup of coffee. Well, you might argue that's a bit damned expensive, but actually, uh, not if you're in England, it isn't. But in Thailand, I don't think the average 300 baht a day earner was probably spend half of their salary on a cup of coffee. I'm very fortunate that I'm able to do it, so that's good. Okay, so that is about it from, uh, from us. Um, been a very nice experience coming here. And I'm glad I've come here because that means every single time I go past here now, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be uh, saying, oh, I must go there, I must go there. Every time I go past, I can go, oh, I've been there, <laughs> been there, done that, seen that. <laughs>